everybody welcome to a new vlog today is saturday so happy saturday it's a very hot humid day here in brooklyn and if you're new hello my name is fran i need to remind myself that i need to introduce myself every once in a while <laughs> So hi everybody, my name is Fran. I'm an illustrator and author living in Brooklyn. I need to do some errands, you guys. I need to get a few office supplies because this is like, it's so exciting for me. Uh, I love getting office and art supplies. So we need to get office supplies, you guys, because I, as you can tell, I've been reading a lot. <laughs> and I need to get a few sticky notes for books and things that i'm reading i also need to get some pens and a new journal so i can journal i also need to get a few art supplies because i've been really curious to see if i can find a sort of like a drafting is that what it's called a drafting board or like a drawing board for my desk so something that it's almost like a portable or like a desk easel so I can draw the graphic novel on there because I find that when I draw on a regular table it's hard for me to see if the perspective or like if the proportions work or are you know they look okay so hopefully I want to find a drafting table because I haven't found any on eBay so I usually my first option always is get things secondhand but I haven't been able to find one in a while on eBay so I'm gonna see if I can find one at my local art supply store so anyway welcome to a new vlog and let's head out <laughs> Before we carry on, I wanted to thank ThreadUp for supporting this channel. ThreadUp is the largest online thrift store and I'm so happy to be working with them because 95% of my closet is secondhand. I like secondhand clothes, you guys, because I think it's way better for the environment. They're also cheaper and special i don't know guys there's something about trends that they don't always suit me or fit me well and i like how with secondhand clothing they don't know time or trend they don't know fabric or size and so it's easier for me to find one of a kind items so now that fall is slowly approaching us i can't wait by the way i picked a few basics that i thought i was missing like this white top for example which i can basically wear with anything. Because I am gay, I've been really curious about vests and I found this very 90s black vest that is beautiful and the texture you guys is so cool. I think with Doc Martens my inner 90s kid look is complete. Oh my god I also found this smiley H&M sweater and if you buy secondhand you will relate to that feeling of thrill when you find something you really really like because this is exactly how I felt you guys when I try this one. I also wanted to dare my comfort zone and I bought this bright yellow linen pants. The estimated price was $169, but I got them at ThreadUp for $40.99. Isn't that amazing? And last but not least, I got this Everlane black sweater to embrace fall just like Meg Ryan will do. The estimated price was $49.99, but I got them at ThreadUp for $27.99. You can shop similar things I got if you check the link in the description and use my code FRAN for 40% off your first order at ThreadUp. Thank you so much, ThreadUp, for making my 19th fall dreams come true.
So we are now currently going to the art supply store. This is our last stop in the errand adventure. And so hopefully I can <laughs> find everything I need. It's kind of raining, um, it's super humid, and I am, as you can see, loaded, you guys. But um, so far it's been a pretty successful outing and so I almost step on poop um, <laughs> fingers crossed I find the rest of the things at the art supply store so let's go Hello everybody, good morning. It's the next day. It's been raining all morning long. It's so humid today, you guys. And so I thought I should start this very relaxing Sunday by showing you the things that I got yesterday. Um, so all of the errands that I had to do yesterday were things that I've been thinking of getting for a longest time. So the things, the first thing that I wanted to show you is this, so... <laughs> This is so random, but I've been wanting to get two pairs of slippers. So this one and this one over here, I got them at uh, Muhi because I, I don't have slippers for the people who come over. I don't have anything for my guests to wear when they are in my apartment. And I have noticed that, I don't know, like you feel... Every time I've been offered a pair of like guest slippers when I've been at my friend's house, like watching a movie um, or just like hanging out, it's such a lovely detail. And the experience of coming over to someone's place changes when you have your own pair of slippers. And I found that in winter, it sometimes is cold and in summer, you don't want to drag your socks. Anyway, so I finally, <laughs> I finally got slippers for my guest and like people who come over so the next thing that i want to share with you guys look at this exciting item but the reason why i went to muhi in the first place is because i wanted to get a pill uh box like a pill case is that what it's called yes a pill case um and i've tried looking for a second hand again on ebay and like other things but i'm like you know what for this one i think i want to get a new one a, a new pill case and i am taking you guys know i'm taking antidepressants antidepressants are great and the one that i'm taking right now lexapro i have to take it both in the morning and in the evening 
because that way I don't get that much nausea from my antidepressants. And so I've been having trouble keeping track if I took the one in the morning and if I took the one in the evening. And so luckily and hopefully with this, it's going to be easier for me to keep track of my meds. Uh, I also got two wooden bowls because I didn't have any... Not only I didn't have wooden walls, but I didn't have bowls in this size. And I find that this size is very convenient for salads. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love salads. So I'm so happy I finally got some nice wooden bowls. I also got a journal, you guys. I journal a lot and I'm in love with this texture. I think it's like black and green and looks so freaking cool. Like I would love to have either a shirt or a bag with this texture. I love it so much. I also got this bike bell. Um, the one that I had for my bike, it no longer fit very well. It was too, like the ring was too big for the handle and so I, when you're driving your bike, you need a bell is the least passive aggressive way of telling people that you're approaching without being an asshole. I don't know why I'm explaining the importance of having a ring or like a bell in your bike. I'm sure you already know uh, that by now, but I'm so happy I finally have one. I also stopped by at Book Thug Nation, which is one of my favorite bookstores actually. And I found Charles Dickens, The Tale of Two Cities. I am really excited to read this one because I already read Great Expectations and I remember that was one of the first books that I read on my reading journey and so I think I'm really looking forward going back to Dickens now that I've read a couple of more books and classics and so I wonder if my opinions and thoughts are going to change around Dickens now that I've read a couple of more books in between my first Dickens and now my second Dickens. So I really look forward to this one. And the second one is My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moschfech. I'm butchering your name, maybe. I really apologize. I've heard so many conflicting and opposite opinions and thoughts about this book. Uh, I've heard so many people liking it and so many people don't liking it. Uh, but a friend of mine, my friend Monse recommended it to me and I really want to give it a go. And like when you find the book that you want to read secondhand, you're like, I can't miss this opportunity. Like I have to do it. Speaking of books, I also got some sticky flags. I don't know what these are called, but I use these, you guys, to keep track of special moments in the books that I'm reading. I find that it's way easier for me not only to keep track of what is happening in the story in terms of like characters and the plot and where we're going, but also it's easier for me to retell or recount. Is that the, the word? Like it's easier for me to remember what happened in a book when I'm keeping track of the plot because what you're doing is you're active, actively reading something and I find that because people sometimes they will ask me like, what are your thoughts on like war and peace? Or like, what are your thoughts on like great expectations? Uh, sometimes it's like tricky for me to be like, oh my God, what was this book about? And so flagging mo like certain moments on the book or like keep like, or the characters or like moments that I really enjoy or like, oh my God, the way this person wrote this uh, paragraph of this phrase, it helps me. Uh, remember the book more easily because I'm, I'm, I'm active, actively reading it in some way. And so sticky flags, you guys. Last but not least, you guys, because I think this is the, is this the last thing on my back? Yes, it is. <laughs> I got a couple of markers and pens because I've been really curious. Can you hear the rain, you guys? Okay, I've been really curious on trying different thickness and like different brush strokes so to speak in terms of pens and like finishing touches when you do a line and since I've been really into in the past like previously into like very thin lines I'm like oh my god what will happen if I 
start experimenting with thickness and brush like different types types of brush strokes and so i've been really curious on trying new pens that have a felt tip or a brush tip and so i think i'm going to experiment with this in the upcoming week and the other markers that i got they have they're from the brand sakura but they have the same finishing opaque acrylic um i guess paint or like finished I just repeated the same words, but uh, that Posca. And so I got them in red, green, and blue. And it's because now I'm trying to incorporate colors into my sketchbook routine, into my sketchbook practice. And so, yeah, I'm so happy I finally got all of these things because it's been a while. I've been thinking about getting these. So, yeah, now I think I'm going to go and read because it's a gloomy and cozy yet humid morning i still have an iced coffee that i want to finish so let's just let's just read we can read bolaño together let's just read bolaño together you guys everybody <laughs> God. my brain is fried you guys i just spent the whole afternoon editing the video you just watched this is what actually my desk you can't see it there you go uh this is actually what my desk looks like when i'm editing i also just realized i haven't signed off this vlog and i wanted to thank you so much for keeping me company on saturday when we did errands together i find that during errands oftentimes can be super boring even if you're doing them in the most exciting city in the world so thank you so much for tagging along i really hope you enjoyed this vlog and also thank you so much to thread up for working with me on this video like i said i'm gonna leave everything down below if you wanna check the outfits that i got so make sure to check the link in the description and use my code for 40 percent off so thank you so much for that up and thank you guys for watching this video for supporting my work and thank you so much patreons for allowing me to have a freaking studio in brooklyn because that's all thanks to you patreons so now i'm gonna end editing this video and probably go home 
and watch good omens probably cuddle hamburguesa and pass out so i hope you're having a lovely rest of your week um, i'm hoping you're having a lovely september so far and we're gonna see each other very soon goodbye guys <laughs>